Hey, g'day, and welcome to another uh, tutorial on surviving Mars research trees. So in this one, um, we're going to actually particularly look after the social research tree and all the, um, the potential research you can do between the on the so social research tree. Uh, don't forget to hit the likes, hit the subscribe um, if you'd like to see more of uh, surviving Mars or anything else that um, I'm actually doing. So let's get straight into it. Okay, welcome back and let's go through. Now just remember that obviously with the research tree, they are randomized. So the order that I'm presenting it may not be the order that they start to pop up within your research trees, but at least you can actually see all the different researchers and um, what they will do and how they'll help you build your colony. So the first one, the first one is um, the Earth Mars Initiative, so increase the research provided by the sponsor by 100. So your sponsor in this case here was giving 400. Um, this has just increased it by 100, which is a nice little um, research to have uh, early on. Second one we've got is productivity training. Engineers and geologists have a 10% performance when working at their speciality. Always a nice buff um, just to get those engineers and geologists, which Really, they, I mean, obviously everyone has an important job on Mars. I just don't want to upset any of my uh, citizens. Um, but certainly engineers and geologists is where I certainly heard, heard a little bit. Geologists regarding getting to your metals and your rare metals. Um, but also your, uh, your engineers for building your machine parts and building your electronics. So um, especially electronics factory, I do find that's tough to get a positive in your electronics. Um, and even late game, you find lots of your um, uh, your buildings are requiring electronics as you're becoming more advanced and sophisticated. So therefore, uh, having that boost is definitely uh, uh, handy. More applicants will start to appear on Earth. So I would recommend that if you get this in early game and you don't have a lot of applicants, tick it, do it. But end game. I'm not getting anyone else from Earth at the moment. I've closed all applications. I am breeding so much uh, and so quickly. Uh, I cannot even keep up with my Martian-born um, uh, citizens at, at the moment. And obviously your Martian-born citizens have one trait and that is they don't get Earth sick because they were never there. Um, let's, um, let's have a look um, at uh, what we've got. Uh, on our citizens. I thought there was a, um, let me just bring this one down, I thought there was a way of actually having a look, um, is it through traits? Homeless? No, so, and I thought there was a way, there was definitely, I thought, a way of actually sort of seeing um, how many Martian born and how many non Martian born citizens that you actually have, but I have not brought, um, oh, here we go, I'm completely, so <laughs> having a look at my citizens, um, sorry it took so long to do that, well, my 692, so 687 are Martian born, I only have five citizens on the planet that are actually Earth born. Um, so you can see that your game changes so quickly uh, to, to the other side. Um, um, and I'm no longer, as I said, bringing citizens from Earth, and therefore I don't get Earth, uh, as many Earth-sick uh, citizens. There's also some other traits that you can get um, on the social skills that we'll go through now um, that will also help your Martian-born um, to sort of get less sort of uh, uh, problems, less uh, sanity uh, during um, uh, issues when you've got uh, you know meteorite showers coming in and things like that. Um, the next one, uh, whoops, sorry, moved along. So next one, Mars crowdfunding. Great early game, uh, just to receive a one-time uh, billion dollars uh, to, to help you with your, your Mars initiative. So hopefully you get that early on because it is sort of handy. Um, systematic training, scientists and botanists receive plus 10, very similar to your engineers and geologists. So a good little early game one. Um, especially because I know I find I trained this one first because you would probably potentially, if you're like myself, 
botanists and scientists are the ones that you're getting early on. Um, your engineers and geologists are probably more mid-game, but botanists because you want to get your food um, and you want to get your research points up. Martian University, um, a great one to, to get. Um, does cost a few electronics, um, but I would, I would uh, seriously recommend it. So once you um, get around about medium game, you can then start doing a little bit of a breeding dome. So we've got our nurseries to have our kids, we've got our playgrounds um, to make sure the children's um, cultivate, it cultivates perks. From that they can go to school um, where they're learning things such as where you can pick the skills that uh, you actually want them to, uh, to have. I don't know why I'm doing nerds, I might do enthusiasts. Um, from the schools then they can go to the universities um, where they're actually learning uh, skills. Now remembering they're also getting um, potential perks as well. So having a sanatorium in here as well, it means that if your Martian born children um, come with flaws, um, such as gambler, manicolic, coward, you can keep on changing it. So basically I would throw things in like lazy to make sure, and I've got no lazy in at the moment, um, you will take away those flaws. Having, and I repeated this in another one, having some of the other traits, which is um, this, is if you, the sanatoriums will then replace that flaw with a random perk. Um, so it is a nice one. Also you get this as well, is your colonists graduate faster through your Martian, um, Martian bore adaptation. Yeah, Martian board adaptability, and I've still said it wrong. Your colonists will graduate faster um, and have a chance to gain a perk from school. So you mix these together and you start to get some really intelligent Martian born citizens that increase your productivity on your planet. So that's the Martian University, but it's also the Martian University mixed with a couple of other uh, research trees. Emergency training. Security officer and medics plus 10, very similar to the other two that we've covered. Um, licensed Martian technology for back on Earth, uh, earned 500 million and it's repeatable. Now I don't need the cash at the moment, as you can see I've got 3.2 billion. Um, so that's why, even though it's only 3,000, um, that's why I haven't uh, done that one. Um, supportive community, lowers the risk of Collins developing flaws during a sanity background. It is a good one. I just haven't researched it because I had other priorities, but I definitely will uh, research it um, and put it in there. Uh, general training Collins without a proper specialization suffer a lower work penalty. Um, before you can build your schools and your university, you're gonna have a lot of non-specialized People, I think even if I go through um, what I've got here, um, um, no specialization, as you can see, I've still got 358 people of my Martian born people that have no specialization. Um, so for myself, that one is very useful because it just re reduces the impact until my universities can start um, uh, catching up with how to actually skill up these, these individuals. Um, now also your universities um, do not have a penalty for night shift. So for those that have played the game as well, obviously some of your buildings, um, such as this one, I don't know why that's off, such as uh, this one has a penalty, a sanity penalty for working night shift. Definitely this has a sanity penalty for working night shift. Um, but your sanitarium um, and your universities and schools do not. Um, so make sure you turn that on because I think it's also defaulted as off as part of uh, uh, all of them. Uh, let's keep on moving. Um, the Martian Institute of Science. So this will give you a new building um, which generates uh, research faster. So you can see my science, I don't have any research labs anymore, I decommission them. And the Science Institute is generating 975. 
Um, I found it was, as it was probably around about five, six times as much as my research lab. So my research lab, let's just go to our trees um, and have a look. Yes, it's gonna cost you more to um, build. Um, research lab is costing you 12 concrete, eight electronics and a maintenance of one. Um, your science is doubling the amount of workers, costing your polymers a lot more and doubling the maintenance. But the impact of the, um, the science that's coming out of it is um, twofold. So you, obviously you get the, um, the scientist in there um, and that just links you straight back to the research tree. But the amount of research definitely outweighs the, uh, the cost. So if you want to start really getting into the research trees, I would get into, hopefully you get this one early and get your Martian Institute of Science uh, as quickly as possible. Next one, obviously increase the service comfort um, is a nice one to make sure you reduce the sanity losses and increase the comfort of your citizens. Um, your sanitarium. This by far um, has been extremely helpful to reduce some of my breakdowns. You can immediately get rid of your gamblers and your alcoholics. Uh, obviously your lazy people, I'll just go back to it again, this is your sanitarium here. Um, and you can choose which ones that you want to uh, reju uh, bring in. So you get a choice of alcoholic, gambler, glutton, lazy, chronic condition, malaconic and coward. Um, and you can just keep rotating through those until you clear up all your flaws within your um, uh, within your dome. So this is where my this is where I put all my children. So it's basically a um, a boarding school. So as they breed in other domes, the children will come here to go to school. At the same time, I'm getting rid of their flaws. I am putting perks on them, putting them through school. So and university. So hopefully once they leave this dome with a profession, they've got perks and then they'll go through specialised. It hasn't happened straight away. I've only done this dome probably in the last uh, maybe five hours real time. Uh, where are we? Uh, Martian bore strength. So it doesn't take sanity damage for disasters. A nice one. Uh, for your Martian. Licensed Martian copyrights back in order. It is repeatable, but at 15,000 research points, A, I do not need the cash today, um, and I can definitely use those 15,000 research points in, in better places. Uh, home collective, residential building upgrade. Uh, increase the service comfort of your building by 10. It is a nice one. I just need to prioritise um, the where I would actually do my research. I've said before, behavioural meddling re replaces flaws with random perks. Once, if you are going to use, if you've decided to use sanitariums, um, I, I think it's a must to definitely have the sanitarium and the uh, behavioural me meddling. So the sanitarium will remove the flaw. The behavioural meddling will replace that flaw with a random perk. So not only do you get rid of coward, alcoholic, gambler, uh, chronic condition, uh, lazy, you replace it with a positive perk. Um, so I think that uh, that is fantastic. Um, the last one is Martian born do not take sanity damage when working in outer dome buildings. So an extremely good one because I'm finding my in dome is changing more to uh, service and accommodation. Out dome such as my mines, um, my atomic fusion. I'm trying to do more things, polymers, uh, fungi farms, trying to do it out. So by doing this one, it means they're not getting sanity damage uh, by working on there. So I definitely will put it in the research tray. I just need to get some of the, uh, knock some of the ones off. And then the wonder, the wonder for the social tree is dream reality, Project Morpheus. So stimulates the development of new perks in adult colonists um, throughout the entire colony. So um, I think this would be amazing wonder. I will definitely get it. So what it's, I guess it's doing is that it will just keep on pulsing and it will stimulate the ability to keep on putting more perks or new perks 
throughout the entire colony. So if I'm understanding that's through the entire, doesn't matter where I put this wonder, um, every citizen in every dome has the random chance to receive a positive perk or receive a perk uh, or a buff. Okay, thank you very much. I hope you found that useful um, going through the, um, the social tree. Um, so thank you very much. That's the last one. I do want to get the last uh, five breakthroughs and then I'll actually create a video on the, uh, the breakthrough. Um, don't forget to hit the likes. Hit the subscribe if you'd like to see more of Surviving Mars uh, or any other game that I'm doing at the moment. Don't forget to leave the comments. I do read them and reply to the comments on anything you'd like to see me do. So have fun. Um, enjoy your gaming and good luck in Surviving Mars and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.